hey guys happy friday i was up till past midnight i don't know i just i always fall asleep late it's really bad but last night i wanted to leave everything ready for me to do all of the computer work that i need to do today today's gonna be all about computer work it's gonna be marketing listings posting on social media all of these things are really really exhausting i think that's the worst part for me doing all of that yeah for sure, that's the worst part of it for me. I like to create the things, but the whole social media aspect and promoting and marketing, that's the worst part for me, definitely. Um, but that's what I'm gonna be working on today. I think it's already afternoon time. I've already started a whole bunch of marketing things. I was at it since this morning. I also took some time out to watch a whole bunch of videos on like how to use Pinterest, how to create good Pinterest posts uh, so that I can lead back to my Etsy. The number one advice that everybody always gives me is to use social media to market yourself. But let me tell you, I do it all. Social media, TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, everything that you can think of, I do. It's not like I don't promote myself or market myself at all. I, I honestly do and I have been since the very beginning. I put myself out there, I do YouTube, but obviously I'm doing them wrong because it's not working. And like, I feel like when people tell me that, it's like, yes, I am doing it already. I just don't think I'm doing it right. So what I'm doing is taking a step back and just kind of learning from the beginning. So I'm literally like looking at so many videos and so many tutorials and people that are experts on it or, you know, they know firsthand on what to do. So I'm literally starting from the beginning and hopefully this time around, I'm doing it correctly. Today is gonna be a lot of computer work because it's gonna be a lot of promoting. I did have some time to wash my hair this morning and do my nails. I did these myself because I am no longer going back to the nail salon. My nails are horrible. They are so thin and fragile and weak. So I just need to take a break. I did it throughout the whole quarantine and I was good. And then I went back to doing dip powder one time and my nails were completely destroyed. I'm still in my pyjamas, but that's just because you know, it's gonna be a chill day. I'm home alone, kids are in school, I'm gonna be on the computer. I wasn't planning on filming, but I changed my mind because I figured this is something different. It's not me showing you how I'm making the cake toppers or how I'm making the things. It's me doing the boring part of all this. It's really boring. I think I forgot to mention, the reason why I have to do all this promoting right now is because I um, made new cake toppers. They're over there. I'm gonna show them to you in a, in a second. I made new cake toppers yesterday. I used my stash. So all my crafty friends, you know what I'm talking about. When we used to, or when I used to buy the 6x6 paper pads, 12x12 paper pads, when all of the like cute collections came out and everything, I still have all of that. I have been de-stashing throughout the years, but I figured let me use up my stash, see if I can take my crafty side back in the day scrapbooking and paper crafts and memory decks cards and all that i figured i could take that twist and put it into my products that way it'll give me something different something that like the new and pandemic crafters don't have i definitely want to be unique so i'm trying to figure out ways to do that and i feel like maybe this could be good maybe i could do like one of a kind pieces i don't know at this point i'm just gonna try it all these are the cake toppers that i made and these two right here are birthday ones so this one has one and i used um damn it what was it called i don't remember the collection that i used i think it was crepe paper i'm pretty sure it was crepe paper i just don't remember the name so this is uh one and then i also did two i mean i was gonna do like three four every number pretty much but the heart is the main thing and i feel like one and two those are cute because they have the the o so I can put a heart instead of the O. With three, it kind of just doesn't work out. But, you know, custom request. If somebody wants three, I, I wouldn't mind making it. And then I also made this one. This one is definitely more Valentine's Day. And it's the same paper. So the, the, the collection is the same. And I also use paper straws this time instead of my clear sticks. I think it just adds a little bit of a different touch to my other cake toppers. Because the other ones, you know, I don't use paper straws. This one I really like. I just, I like how the colors kind of contrast off of the, the black and white pattern paper. I wanted to do it in Spanish just because it's a little different. But you can also buy it as I love you. I don't know why, but I always have anti-love, anti-Valentine's Day things. Just because, you know, not everybody is all about the love. And you just gotta cater to everyone. This one also has dimension. I just put all of the 
heart pieces inside and then made it so that the, the nose sign can be pretty much just bold and, and in your face. I think I may be a little bit late in the game to, you know, bring out Valentine's Day stuff, especially because it's only like, what, two and a half weeks away maybe? But whatever, I mean, the, these two doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. Even the Te Amo thing, it could be for anniversary. This one I feel like is the more Valentine's Day one because, you know, it's anti-Valentine's Day. But anyway, I have a list here of all the things that I need to do. List uh, Valentine's Day toppers, which I did last night. That's why I stayed up to like midnight because, you know, I had to fix the lighting. I had to add my watermark or my, you know, tag. And then I had to list them one by one. Promote on Pinterest. I kind of started doing that this morning. So I'm not going to check it off because I still have a whole bunch to do. I did post on TikTok because I edited the video last night. So I posted on TikTok. I am going to use that same video from TikTok and post it on YouTube as like shorts. My son has been telling me to do shorts for such a long time. So I'm finally going to do that. And then I'm also going to post it on Instagram as a reel. Um, and the videos that I took of my toppers, like of each individual topper, I have to add it to the Etsy listings. That's what I'm currently doing. It's not fun, but this is also my day in the life. Like this is also a day that I have to set aside to do. I find that if I do everything in, at once or everything in one day, there is no rest. There is no stop. That's usually the case, but since I have some downtime now, I figured let me take advantage and do all of that today.
going at it for hours. I just want to get it over and done with because I have decided that for the next two days, so that's Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to do something that I haven't done in a very long time. And that's take the days off, fully off. I mean, no creating, no posting on social media, no promoting, no answering messages fully take the days off i feel like i've been so go 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 so i just want to kind of take the two days and just relax and not have to worry about all that there's a nor'easter coming through anyway and we're supposed to get i don't know i keep seeing six to eleven inches of snow sometimes i see 12 to 18 inches so i have no idea all i know is that it's gonna snow so i'm just gonna take those days to kind of just relax and enjoy my family enjoy not having to think about work 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 with that being said it's almost time to go get the kids. So I wanna finish everything by the time I have to go get them. I promoted on Pinterest, which you saw. Actually, there's one thing, an idea pin that just doesn't upload for some reason. I don't know why. So I'm gonna try that one more time and then I'll be done with that. I tried to do a YouTube short, but apparently it's up to 15 seconds long and the video that I have is 31 seconds long. So that didn't work out. I'm just gonna cross that off. And I just uploaded an IG reel and actually I also posted the toppers on IG just because I know I'm not going to be doing any posting or anything like that on Saturday and Sunday. So I just got that over and done with. And then add videos to listings. Ship out card. Okay, I got this. I got this. I'm just gonna retry the Pinterest thing and then I'm going to add videos to listings and I think that's it. Yeah, I'll just start again on Monday and go from there. I also need to shift this out. All right, so Pinterest, redo, and add videos to listings, and that's it, I'm done. I'm, I think I'm logging off of all social media. Otherwise, I'm just gonna check my phone. I know myself, I'll just check it and reply to messages and all that. What am I gonna do about editing the video? I'm still gonna post this video on Monday. So what I'll do is tonight when everyone's sleeping, I'll edit this video and have it scheduled for Monday. It works best that way. So that way I'm not editing during the day. I haven't changed from my pajamas and I'm just gonna stay that way because why not? You know, I'm gonna be stuck home anyway. I am going to pick up the kids like this. I don't care to be honest. I'm just gonna have a chill weekend i hope you guys have had a chill weekend because by the time you're watching this it'll be monday it'll be the start to another week i hope you guys enjoyed this video i wanted to kind of show you guys a little behind the scenes of all like the computer work and all the boring stuff that i don't think i've ever shown something new something fresh mm -hmm.